Hi, I'm Greg DeVore here from Screen Steps, and I'm here with Crystal Kadakia from LCD Group. And today we're going to be talking about learning cluster design. Um, Crystal and her group started doing these workshops five years ago, and it eventually grew into a book that was put out a year ago. Is that correct, Crystal? That's right. And it's really about rethinking the way we learn in a modern work environment. So what's the value of an LCD model if you can take the procedures, if we look at all the learning that has to happen inside of an organization, we have procedural learning, we have policies, we have leadership skills, we have communication skills, all those sort of things. If we can remove the need to learn procedures and policies, how does that free us up to invest uh, our kind of our, our brain space in higher level learning? How does the, the LCD model play into that? Yeah, that's a great question, Greg. And, you know, you hit the nail on the head right there when you said free up space. Uh, One of the most common problems or challenges we hear from L&D professionals is that most of their time is basically sucked up by dealing with compliance, regulatory, kind of the, the annual types of trainings that you have to do, you have to have in place in your organization. And so, what they find is that their time becomes limited to develop and design learning experiences for business critical needs. Um, Things like the future capabilities an organization wants their talent to be developing. We just don't have time for it because we're constantly updating and creating and making sure and tracking that everyone is, is, you know, in line with our compliance needs. So one of the the core challenges I think for L and D that gets alleviated with with something like screen steps is that you're saving not only time for the learner, uh, but you're saving time for L and D. And on the learner end, and this is really how it ties into LCD model, is that instead of that once a year check in the box type of a training that you know might be very far from the moment you need it. Something like screen steps, what it does is it allows learners to actually have knowledge that they need available in the moment they need it. And that's a core philosophy of the LCD model, the learning cluster design model. And I can share a little bit more about the actual model itself to to give some greater context. 